Hello and welcome to MATLAB video tutorial. If you would like to learn more about MATLAB or PSPICE, please visit www.csun.edu slash tilde APR69082. There you can find more video tutorials about MATLAB and PSPICE. In this video tutorial I will discuss how to debug MATLAB code. There are three types of MATLAB errors or bugs. The first one is a typo. It is a simple typing error. It is easy to find if you mistype a function name, but difficult to find if you mistype a variable. Syntax error occurs when calling syntax for function is incorrect uh, or you provide function with inputs that are wrong size, shape or type. MATLAB will always display an error message in that case, but in some cases, or if not most cases, it is hard to figure out what this message actually means. And the last type of uh, error is an algorithmic error. It occurs when the code runs without problems, but the result you receive is not what you expect. The main technique in debugging this type of error will be computing the answer to the problem by some other means than MATLAB and then stepping through the code by using step button or db step function. In this particular tutorial we will verify the algorithm of our CRC gen uh, M file function. Uh, so it actually consistent with uh, the calculations of the CRC. Uh, we will be using uh, this example to verify our CRC generator code. And again, I would like to give um, credit to Dr. Zahid for this slide as well. In this piece of MATLAB code, uh, we are using a generator M file. This file prompts user to enter our message in our divisor and then it calls a in line 6 it calls CRC gen function that's the function we're interested to verify our logic in well let's start debugging our code and right over here at the top you can see the debug menu you can see some some uh, things are not highlighted yet because we're not in the debug mode and then you can also clear breakpoints or set breakpoints. Actually all these options are available right here and it's going to be easier to use them and I'll explain how. Also let me show you how to turn in uh, turn on uh, data tips. Right over here you go to preferences, uh, you click on editor, debugger and then choose display and right over here you select the data tips in edit mode and just hit apply and OK. Let's set up our breakpoint in let's say line 5 um, and we'll just run our code. Alright, they have to enter message. It will be 1, 0, 0, 1, the same as in our example and our divisor will be 0, 1, 1. All right. So what you can see, our code was running up to line 5 and K means we are in a debug mode and it tells us what line it stopped on. And right here, this is you can see our uh, created variables in the workspace area and we can also actually, if we go and hover over, let's say, div it will tell us what kind of that's a data tip enable and it tells us what kind of variable it is so let's go up right here and see what these things mean this is set clear breakpoint so we already set it by just clicking on uh, the line right over there the line we need to set up breakpoint this is a clear breakpoint here is a step so if we need to move one line down we use step or F10 so let's do it we move to line 6 and already we have our mess augmented message variable created. The next thing is the step in. So you want to use this option to get into your function. Uh, step out will be similar. It's, it's basically to get out 
of your function. So right now if we simply hit step option it will go straight to line 7 so it's it's gonna run our function inside and then skip and go all the way to down to line 7 which we're not interested we're actually interested into stepping into our function so let's use uh, step in option which is F11 and you can see we're inside our function and here we're creating our uh, we got our two variables augmented message and the generator we are creating remainder a variable so we have the message and you can check it so it goes from one to the length of our generator and our divisor will just make it the same as generator so we'll just go in our for function we're just gonna loop uh, from one till our whenever we have an end of our augmented data word and then we'll perform XOR function with our divisor if the first bit is going to be equal to zero we will XOR our remainder with the zeros and if our leftmost bit is one we will XOR our remainder with our divisor and then after we're doing that, so we'll perform this line. The line 11 is actually pe performs a shift. It adds another zero at the end and uh, skips this uh, the leading zero, and then it goes. It loops back again to do the same thing, and in the end, we're just basically doing a simple shifting. We're cutting the first. Uh, leftmost bit off. So in order to get uh, three bits for our uh, for our remainder. So let's let's go again over and look at the same. So that basically this that's what implements this logic right logic right over here. So all right, let's go and uh, step through this function and make sure our logic works fine. Okay, let's go next step. Next step, you see the variables are generated in the work area, and then let's see if our if is actually all right. Let's go up. Uh, yep, there is zero, so the leading is zero, our if, and then remainder performs the shift. Okay, and we're going the third time. One, two, three, just step through it again. All right, and now we are got out of the loop. I guess we have three iterations, and then we do our remainder. Basically, we execute this line again, and now we want to actually step out of, of the function right over here. So we click a uh, step out button. Uh, but before we do so, let's go and double check actually um, our iterations against our example. Right over here, we can see that we had one, two, three, and four x or or functions. Right. So we had to do it four times. But in our case, if we check our um, I counter it only did three times for us so meaning we're off although our remainder is actually correct and RAM is the same but instead of doing it four times we only did it three times so there is an error in our logic which we will fix right now and also if you step in the function it's, it's going to show you all the variables that are inside a function otherwise you won't be able to see them if you just run from um, from the MATLAB code line. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, step out. So we're all done and you see the inside variables of the function disappeared and right now we will just go ahead and uh, basically continue right here and we got our code work. So we can just hit continue or exit the, the debug mode. Okay, let's go ahead and try fixing our error right there where we found it so we'll use our CRC again and right here we just want to add probably one so because we only did three iterations and technically we need to do four let's go ahead and again run our code and see if we can if we if we're gonna get the same answer so right now I'm not gonna use debug mode I'm simply gonna just run the code again and just using the same code word and 
All right, right here we it looks like we have a, some error actually. So and it's a perfect example of our uh, syntax error. So we this is basically is that that it tells us there is something wrong on, on our line 11, uh, the function uh, crc uh, crc gen function and uh, also there is a problem in the line 6 of our main function generator so in order to figure it out we can just go into uh, crc function and we'll find the line 11 right there and make a stop there so basically what we did we uh, first address the first error maybe the second error is caused by the first error so we'll fix it first error so we set up um, our uh, breakpoint line 11 all right let's go ahead and run our m file that calls our function and make sure there's no breakpoints there um, let's go ahead and run it so in our message will be 1001 and divisor will be 101 all right and right here we stopped at line 11 and let's go ahead and use the step so we're inside a function just use the step and see what's going on it's gonna spit out any error for us so it looks like it went through just fine and it's our well second iteration so there's the problem maybe on the fourth iteration because we had to add fourth iteration so um, and let's go through the loop and wait till i equals to four so maybe that's where we getting the error and uh, let's go one more and it should go right here and speed our error okay so seems like there is a problem in this line and if we look closely we can see this line is executed in order to shift and to add one more zero let me go and show you right here but since we are at the last zero so what the function actually does it tries to shift this to one one zero and then add another zero which doesn't exist so let's go ahead and fix it with a quick I guess if statement so our prob problem was actually that we ran out of zeros in our augmented message to Adam so we only need added zero when there is zero actually exists let's go ahead and uh, clean our breakpoint and we need to put an if statement so if i is less than the length of a message minus the length of a generator so if it's less if there is three zeros for example and we're running it four times so if i less or equal to that so it can uh, shift it and add a zero there so let's go ahead and uh, end it with a with an end statement and there if there is not so we'll just simply go ahead and skip here and the remainder we'll use we'll use uh, this line okay let's go ahead and save our code and again just use run generator and see if we get any errors so let's input our message all right and I guess we got the our code word and let's go compare it to our example which is 1001 and 110 which is correct so we were able to verify the logic of our CRC gen function and make sure it works okay so graphical debugging techniques are useful techniques in uh, eliminating your errors or bugs in a MATLAB code uh, creating a breaking point and stepping through your function or through your code is useful when you have a an algorithmic error or actually as a syntax error and we saw this in our example when dealing with the syntax errors you can always use uh, the data tip uh, option so you can actually see if there is there is a problem if you are mistyped one of the other variables you can just hover in them and see the current value right here. Alright, thank you for your attention. Bye.